Well, hello again, everyone. Well, here we go. I'm continuing on with this project. Um, I have now pretty much completed the scrubbing in process. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> well, it always looked kind of like a the ugly ducking, duckling at this stage. Excuse my tongue twister there. And uh, so basically, this this after you do, I do the basic sketch of the of the composition. What I do is I go in with a little bit of color and I start to fill in the areas uh, of darkness um, and and light uh, where shadows and so forth are going to be. Where it's going to be light, I either don't uh, apply any paint to that or I use uh, a lighter paint or darker paint paints where I'm going to be putting darker colors in. So basically, the concept is is you have to have dark in areas in order to show light. All right, so. This basically is just a rough uh, scrubbing in where I take the, the brush and I just start up touching a little bit of paint. And it doesn't take very much paint. If you look at my palette down here, I've got it uh, covered in plastic wrap. It's per, uh, you know, the, there's not a lot of paint there. I actually just put uh, small amounts of paint and then I just missed it a little at a time with a mister bottle. And you definitely want to have one of these little mister bottles because it really helps uh, keep your your paint wet and fluid so you can use it and what I do is I have uh, two kinds of paint I have thicker paint at the top and I have thinner paint that's been thinned down so I can um, it, you can apply thinner paint over thicker paint but it's not good to do it the other way around otherwise you just mix mud on the canvas so I basically got the darker areas uh, and the shadow areas uh, kind of scrubbed in and uh, I just continue and you just do this in layers it, at first it looks like a dog and then after a while don't get me wrong dogs are cute it just doesn't look very good in the beginning and then as you continue adding paint and doing layer by layer it becomes more and more refined and starts looking more detailed the very last element will be down the road that's when I start doing the highlighting but Usually I do at least two, two or three sets of shade of shading, um, and then as I get as I go in, when I started, I actually used a, a larger my larger brush uh, to scrub in with. But as I get cl uh, more and more detail, I'll start going down to uh, much smaller brushes, and even using a fan brush and so forth you know, the edges of a fan brush. So anyway, I'm having fun with this and I'll continue on and keep you updated as I There's the original I have there as my reference and it should uh, hopefully, it won't look exactly the same of course because this is being hand painted. Um, that was a digital creation. And, but it'll still, I think it's still gonna turn out nicely. So I'll just keep, keep moving along. Thank you for watching. Take care.